Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's add the detail to his tummy. The little detail where it's next to his legs. It's only five minutes video, so it shouldn't take that long. Okay, so funny having him in that position in the 3D space. <laughs> Standard brush, symmetry on, X on the keyboard, S to scale your brush. Let's see where it starts. I think it's starting from there, yeah, and it's just going behind, a little bit behind his back legs. Again, the standard brush, little size, small size, so we can do these little bumps. And it's the pressure that you're using. You can notice that sometimes I use is the pressure on my pen. Sometimes I'll apply a little bit more pressure, sometimes I would not apply that much pressure. So it depends on um, the effect you want. So it's up to you. You see, now I'm adding a little bit more pressure to it. Sometimes it feels like it's almost like um, drawing with a pencil. Um, obviously the effect is different. <laughs> But it's uh, the same with the pencil, isn't it? You apply more pressure, you get uh, darker lines. You apply more pressure here, you get um, uh, more geometry drawn onto it, if you want to say it this way. Depends on whether we want a bigger bump there or more. Like bigger bump equals more geometry in that section or now Damien standard, not inversed, just normal, small size as well, and just get that in between those little bumps so we can get some effect. Uh, I don't think I was happy with that. I might undo it. Yeah, you see? So I'll go back all the way where I'm not happy with it. That's why it's good to keep your undo history until you're really, really happy with the model. This gives you um, an option. That looks pretty good. It's starting to look like him. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, here we go. My bra, my um, pen and my keyboard got locked again. Sometimes it does it and I still haven't figured it out why. I know it's the little keyboard that I have, which is very, very useful, but sometimes it's um, locking the opt key or the control key or the shift key as well. So I don't know which one is locked, and until I figure out which one of the three is locked, I can't change my brush. But yeah, that's, um, that's my problem to solve. <laughs> uh, move brush, just to... Oh, inflate brush, tiny bit there, to inflate it, and then smooth. Because it looks a little bit uh, kind of... Um, almost flat doesn't it and uh, I don't think I like that I think his tail is kind of flat at the bottom and a little bit at the top mainly at the bottom but um, it's a little bit round so we're just getting that nice shape right there what do you see it's not all round but it's not all edgy as well so just smooth it a little bit there. <clears throat> smooth the tip of it a little bit. Yeah, that looks much better, doesn't it? Move brush, tiny bit. The move brush is really good because it allows you to pull in out on each direction and it's um, it's a very good brush. 
So basically these are the brushes that I use most of the time. Clay build up, clay sometimes, move brush, obviously smooth brush, Damien Standard and Snake Hook and sometimes smooth topology as well. But I think that's the main brushes that I use most of the time. Everybody has different preferences and likes different brushes because there is so many more brushes that uh, I've used a, a lot of the other brushes. Um, but uh, for basic models uh, like this, that's the main brushes I use. Please feel free to play with the other brushes. Uh, I, I know I did it. Okay, I think we're done. So I will see you later.